your helm. But thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. I know who my friends are now, don't I? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Uh, they're trying to hide something. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? <clears throat> My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. <sighs> Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumour was, a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. Confringo! Revelio. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Revelio. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? 
and you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Confringo! Revelio! Huh, a stairwell. That devil snare. Yeah. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. Revelio left all of this stuff is strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. I'm okay. Okay. Uh, it was my second week at the in the camp. More arrived each day. The muggle doctors, even some of our own healers, are doing all that they can for them. The grief is... Papel. The ones who have survived the plague are forever da damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastation... Devastation, yeah, sorry, remains. I saw a man much like my father who lost a child. A, I couldn't bear it. I long to give him some shed of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as. A betrayal not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment okay so i guess this is that young girl who became a professor a journal entry of his adorers i should hold on to this mm. i traveled here to learn but i long to help the Internal struggle is overwhelming, as as though the magic wants to heal, I am the one preventing it from doing so. Shall I lose hope? Will I forever forget not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today. I am the one who remembered me, reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a ferocious cons uh, consequence of doing something good with this ability. So it sounds like she's dealing with something similar to what we'd be dealing with with Sebastian's sister, some type of curse or plague or something. But and we may. And the ancient magic might cure it. Yet, those keepers or whatever didn't want her to. And that's what's going to happen with this. I don't know. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Hmm. Revelio. 
What else am I missing? Lumos. Oh. Rebellion. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. P perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Mm -hmm. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Revelio. Ah. Have I even missed a spell or something from how I answered those questions before with... Sebastian and this family. Um, because I think he can in certain part, parts. You're misleading some of the dark art spells. Hmm. They haven't got to that point yet. I guess I'll just keep going with it and see. Good look it up, but I don't really want to do too many spoilers. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Am I supposed to be able to make something of this? What the hell that means? Anything helpful in the notes? No idea, but it's a ripped up piece of note. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. 
Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. So Ominous, his family was where he learned of this room. And this room leads to that girl's house. I wonder if he's related somehow to her. Um... Meet me near the ruins of Falbottom Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Hmm. Have you got into here <laughs> again? Was there a way to get back to where we were? Because there was some. Ancient magic things back there. Oh, I guess it's just a teleport back there. Let's get out of this area though. Hmm. Why can't. Why is this not working? Huh. Blind. Okay, quests. Astronomy class and also meeting Natty at a castle. I have some items I need to identify. 